Jason, we got uh, something here before we go uh, and take our quick break, and then we'll come back. But uh, let's finish up now with some settings. These are not um, something that I think are groundbreaking, but check your settings, um, and there may be some things that you're missing. So, uh, for example, uh, you might be targeting only one language, English. You know, if you if you're if you're advertising in a big metro area. Um, you might want to do all languages. That might be a way to boost some of your traffic. Uh, so it doesn't mean that you'll, your keywords will automatically translate to Spanish or, or French or whatever they're searching. It just means that if someone has a browser setting that is set outside of English or their, their Google uh, profile is set outside of English, um, then they would not see your ads if you're only targeting English. So a little bit of a bump there. Next, um, schedule, 24-7 schedule. I mean, a little bit of a risk. I'm not always a big fan of late night, early morning kind of stuff, but you could get a little bit of bump there. Um, Jason, you have uh, other things. Yeah, advanced location settings. Um, a lot of people do, and I do often, uh, target people in or regularly in your location. So you want the people that are in your location. Uh, but sometimes I'm working with a lot of real estate people lately, Chris, and uh, people search for real estate in different areas because either they're moving or they have investment properties. And okay. there are many industries where if you're advertising in Dallas, but someone's sitting in Seattle and they're searching about this product or service in Dallas, but they're sitting in Seattle, but they want to get information about this thing, what happens in Dallas, sometimes that's really good traffic. And sometimes it's less competitive traffic because other people aren't showing there. More leads, more leads, more leads. Well, this is one way to get more leads. Um, and then finally, Chris, if you're playing around with your schedule, with bidding or not running all the time, if you can take leads all the time, like with lead forms, or you're playing around with your audiences and you're bidding this way or that way for audiences, don't forget that this is search. Don't forget that this is keyword based. And uh, I was working with a, a client um, who sells a service that high net worth and high income people would want. It's what we want, you know, what we want, you know. And um, because of that, we only targeted high income people uh, on the audiences. And you know what, Chris, you would be proud of this one. Volume was tough. And there was mm. this little Chris Schaefer That's guy cool. on my shoulder telling me, I told you so. I told you so. It's keyword based. It's search based. What does it matter? I told you so. Focus on the conversions. <laughs> yeah. And and so, you know what? We, we tried it out for a few weeks and we're like, look, this isn't what we're wanting. We want more. And let's just crack it open. And if someone's searching about this high income, high net worth problem that they need to solve, they're probably a high income person and they're probably a good customer. So if they happen to be on a work computer or their son's computer or who knows why they would show up in the bottom, th uh, the top 20 to 30 percent of income or the 40 to 50 percent of income or unknown. Who knows why? Because clients ask us, well, how does someone get put in the top 10 percent of income? And we go, we have no idea, but we think it's accurate. Yeah. Um, let's just try. Let's just try. My point is, and it worked, Chris, we got a lot more volume. Hmm. My point is. Don't forget all this stuff is search-based. It's all keyword-based. People are giving us their intent. Hmm. 